new post. Why blogs? Print periodicals are on the decline. According to journalism.org, in 2015, weekday newspaper circulation fell 7% and Sunday circulation fell 4%, the greatest decline since 2010. Advertising revenue from newspapers experienced its greatest drop since 2009, falling nearly 8% in that same period. The newspaper workforce has lost about 20,000 jobs, or 39%, in the last 20 years. And three major newspaper companies, E.W. Scripps, Journal Communications, and Gannett, have recently merged, reflecting a trend toward consolidation in the industry. People are not turning to print for their daily reading anymore. Readership of print newspapers may be declining, but rising in its place are online journals and blogs from web logs. Blogs in general are growing in popularity and circulation. Plus, there are always new ones to read, and there's plenty of business space to carve out one's own meaningful niche. Blogs are growing in popularity and circulation and there's plenty of business space to carve out one's own meaningful niche. Hashtag blog to book. Bloggers are writing about virtually every topic in every industry, about everything from how to be a working mom, to strategies for growing your business, to tips for investment banking. They are written by marketing and communications professionals in large corporations, by small business owners and solopreneurs, and by individuals who love to write and communicate their views, sometimes just within their own close circles. Just look at these statistics on blog growth and impact from written.com. Nearly 20 million people publish blogs on websites and social networks. 81% of companies consider their blogs useful important or critical. 81% of U.S. online consumers trust information and advice from blogs. It's no wonder that blog usage is exploding. Blog posts may be of any length, but generally contain short, pithy posts of 350 to 800 words each. They're typically conversational, some writers make their own edgy, humorous, or thought-provoking. Why do readers love blogs? As social creatures, we crave connection and community, and we feel connected to our tribe when we read a blog we care about. We are listening to someone who is like us, someone who can provide us with the insights and perspectives we need in our own lives and careers. As social creatures, we crave connection and community. Hashtag blog to book. Blogs allow us to hear different perspectives and see the familiar in new ways. For example, as a baby boomer, I love reading posts from millennials because it helps me see their concerns and issues, which are different from and yet surprisingly similar to my own. Readers love blogs because they are accessible and easy to read. Let's be realistic. In our busy lives, who has time to read that thick, fancy business book we know we should read? Blogs are popular partly because they offer an alternative. It's much easier and convenient to digest short bites of information as posted on a blog than to wade through lots of details that you don't want or need. Blogs are fun because they more often connect with current events and pop culture, which helps keep readers informed. Reading someone's blog, it feels like we're leaning over the backyard fence to catch up on the news with our neighbor. Authors can begin blogging with no credentials, no platform, and no startup capital. This makes it one of the most equal opportunity forms of publishing ever available, and it means anyone can have a voice. 
So let's get blogging. Activity. Do some surfing on the internet. Find several blogs on your topic or industry. Follow these blogs. What do you like about what the author does? What are they missing?